In this video, I will show you the construction and logical operation of NMOS NOR gate. NMOS NOR gate that means the circuit will use N type MOSFET to construct the logic gate. Here we will use MOS logic that means to specify logic 1. We will apply plus 5 volt and to specify logic 0 we will apply 0 volt as this will be a NOR gate if at least one of the inputs is at logic 1 our output will be at logic 0 see this is the circuit structure of NMOS NOR gate here you will see we will use total 3 N type MOSFET Q1, Q2 and Q3 you will see the drain terminal of the transistor Q2 and the transistor Q3 are connected together and we are taking the output from this common point to the ground terminal okay and the transistor Q1 the transistor Q1 is known as loading MOSFET loading MOSFET that means it will act like a load resistor See here the gate terminal of this transistor Q1 is connected at this point that means with the 5 volt source that means the transistor Q1 will be in on state the transistor Q1 will always be in the on state now see when the transistor Q1 will be in on state we design the transistor Q1 such that it provides an on state resistance of 100 kilo ohm so I can replace the channel of transistor Q1 with a resistance of 100 kilo ohm. R1 will be 100 kilo ohm. Okay. The transistor Q2 and Q3 will be known as switching MOSFET. That means they will be either on state or off state. As during on or off state. During on state, the transistors offer resistance of 1 kilo ohm. During off state, it offers resistance of 10 to the power 12 ohm so i can replace the channel of q2 and q3 with a resistance like this the channel resistance of transistor q2 is r2 and the channel resistance of transistor q3 is r3 okay so i can replace this entire mosfet network with a resistive network like this and we are taking the output from this terminal to this is our ground terminal okay now let me talk about the logical operations a B when the inputs will be at logic 0 A will be at logic 0 that means this terminal will be connected to ground terminal and B will be at logic 0 that means this terminal is directly grounded okay therefore the transistor Q2 and Q3 both of them will be in off state the off state resistance of Q2 will be 10 to the power 12 ohm and off state resistance of Q3 will be 10 to the power 12 ohm as the transistors Q2 and Q3 are off state therefore I can disconnect the source and drain terminals from the given network because when a transistor is in off state its drain and source terminal act like open switch okay so the current ID that should be flowing through this path will be equal to zero there will be no current flow ID is equal to zero therefore you will see the current ID into R1 that should be the voltage drop across 100 kilo ohm resistor will be equal to zero therefore you will see our output voltage will be equal to plus V D T or plus 5 volt or I can say our output will be at logic 1 now let me talk about the second case when A will be at 0 and B will be at 1 that means this terminal will be connected to ground terminal and B that means I will apply 5 volt between the B terminal to ground terminal okay therefore the transistor Q2 will be in off state and the transistor Q3 will be in on state therefore the off state resistance of Q2 will be R2 equal to 10 to the power 12 ohm and the on state resistance of Q3 will be 1 kilo ohm. See, as the transistor Q2 is in off state, 
its source and drain terminals will act like open switch or open circuit so i can disconnect the source and drain terminals from the network okay see i have disconnected the source and drain terminals now see what should be our output voltage if i disconnect r2 from the network you will see i will get a series connection from this terminal to this terminal consists of 100 kilo ohm and this 1 kilo ohm resistor so if i want to calculate output voltage our v output will be equal to 1k divided by 1k plus 100k into 5 volt therefore you will see it will be 0 0.049 volt or it will be around 0 volt or it will be at logic 0 so our logic this logic will be at 0 okay our this voltage will be at 0 volt nearly now consider the third case 1 0 that means B terminal is connected to ground terminal this A terminal is connected with a 5 volt source between this terminal to ground terminal so the transistor Q2 will be in on state the transistor Q3 will be in off state the off state resistance of transistor Q3 will be 10 to the power 12 ohm and the on state resistance of transistor Q2 will be only 1 kilo ohm see as the transistor Q3 is in off state its source and drain terminals will act like open switch or open circuit so I can disconnect the source and drain terminals of Q3 or I can disconnect this portion or the resistance R3 from the network therefore you will see our resistive network will look like this see from this terminal to this ground terminal I will have a series connection of R1 and R2 okay therefore if I want to calculate output voltage I can easily calculate that by using voltage divider rule 1 kilo divided by 1k plus 100k into 5 volt which should be equal to 0 0.049 volt or I can approximate this to nearly 0 volt or our output will be at logic 0 now consider the last case when A and B both will be at logic 1 our output should be at logic 0 A will be at logic 1 that means I will connect 5 volt source between this terminal to ground terminal I will connect plus 5 volt source between this terminal to ground terminal therefore our transistor Q2 and Q3 both of them will be in on state so our on state resistance R2 and R3 will be around 1 kilo ohm okay therefore see between this terminal to this terminal I have this 1 kilo ohm and this 1 kilo ohm connected in parallel therefore their equivalent parallel resistance will be equal to I will denote that with R4 R4 will be 0 0.5 kilo ohm okay now see what will be our output voltage i will use voltage divider rule 0 0.5 k divided by 100 k plus 0 0.5 k into 5 volt our output should be nearly equal to 0 volt so i can say that our output will be at logic 0 okay so this output will be at logic zero. That's it. Thank you.